and welcome back to the Babes Booktube channel. My name is Kayla and book series that I quit the most recent couple years edition. I'm gonna be talking about six book series that I've recently read in the past couple of years of more existence on Booktube and I'm gonna talk about those series that I just quit because I just can't even anymore. The first book series that I've quit is To All the Boys I Loved Before Duology, now Trilogy, that sort of mess by Jenny Han and I really loved and enjoyed the first book, To All the Boys I Loved Before. I thought it was a great, awesome, unique concept and I loved it as just, just as a standalone, I loved it. And then we, it was a duology, so we got the second book and I just wasn't impressed with the second book. I was like, oh, well this is a crappy end to a duology, like, okay, fine, whatever. And then recently, last year, the third book came out and I just, I don't, I'm not giving it a try. I'm, the reason why it should be a trilogy, I can see the reason why behind that and how it definitely needs to be three books at this point because there was so much going on in the second book that you needed a third book to wrap everything all up in. Coming at number two, we have A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray and I picked these books up because the covers are gorgeous and absolutely beautiful and stunning and it's just so eye-pleasing. Font, the artwork, everything. I loved and enjoyed it. But A Thousand Pieces of You was a beautiful on the outside but a complete hot mess on the inside. I didn't, I only read book one out of the entire trilogy and that was enough for me. The first book just, mm, it just was a huge hot mess. I didn't like the characters, I didn't like the plot, I did not like the time travel, which it was like my first like time travel book, so I was like really disappointed and shut off from time travel for such a long time now because this book kind of just ruined everything for me. And so with that being said, there was just too much going on and I didn't like how everything was just a huge hot mess, so I decided not to continue on with the rest of the trilogy. Coming in at number three, we also have two books that I started that I just did not care about the third book, and that was the Burn for Burn trilogy by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian, and Jenny Han is on this list twice. I the Burn for Burn trilogy was really great. It was like a, it was like Jenny Han's trilogy or duology trilogy thing now. The first book was so strong. I loved Burn for Burn. It was this like girls, John Tucker must die, that sort of vibe mashed up kind of together. It was great. It was wonderful. And then the second book in the series, forgot the title of it. It is huge compared to the other books in the trilogy. And so going into it, I was like, oh my god, I can just fly through this like I flew through the first one. And yeah, no, it took me like 10 years to read basically and I just wasn't that thrilled with what was going on and it just it just sucked so much. There was a couple of things that happened in the second book that I was just not pleased with. We were thrown in a couple elements that I was like, why is this even a thing? Like the Mean Girl vibe and everything else, like the contemporary vibe I love, but you're gonna throw in a, like a supernatural vibe, like that made me quit and it just made me not want to read the third book. I did have thoughts about reading the third book just to finish the trilogy, but I just, I can't do it. I don't want to sit through a book that long again and just be miserable. Next up we have The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings and I was really hyped going into this book because I'm like, ooh, blood, murder, guts, woo! And it was anything, it was just kind of like mediocre, it was just average and it wasn't, it wasn't a bad book, but it wasn't a good book, it was just, average. I thought the storyline was meh and I just had no drive to continue on finishing up the duology. Next up I have The Iron Trail by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. So the book, I thought the book was alright. I really enjoyed it for the most part. I really liked and enjoyed it but I, there's four books out now which I didn't realize. I thought I just kind of lost track of how many books are in this series. I really liked and enjoyed it back then. I probably would think the series is okay now and that's what really scares me. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not finish this series. And last but not least, we have Asylum by Madeline Rowe, and I did not like this book this past fall. I thought it was average, but after like I gave my review and talked about it in my wrap up, I like the more I sat and thought about this book, the more irritated I got by the stupidity of the characters, the like mystery, the thriller, the suspense, the horror, the go like it just was so stupid. I just ah, I just could not get behind it because. I have The Merciless that's so good, Welcome to the Dark House is pretty good, and then this. And I just, I did not like it. The only thing that I really liked about Asylum was that we had pictures in the book, and they were creepy and scary and spooky and hooky, and I just, I loved the pictures in the book. I just did not care for anything else in that novel. And the second book is more of like a circus thing? 
I think I remembered like looking at the back because they like gave you a special sneak peek at the next book or whatever. So I like kind of like browsed through it and I was like, I'm not signing up for this. And I already kind of had enough of that with the Welcome to the Dark House thing because I was like, yep, nope, I'm not doing carnivals anymore. Just was not that great and I will never continue on with that series. And now I know why it has meh, reviews on Goodreads. <laughs> Anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. What series have you recently quit or that you just did not finish or books that you recently quit? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week for a new bookish video.